Welcome to UA Today. I'm Laura Inglehart. Here are your top stories for Tuesday, May 26th. Here's a look at Memorial Day activities that took place in UA where the 38th annual Memorial Day run organized by the UA Civic Association was held. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright start through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly screaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in there gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good luck, runners. The Memorial Day holiday shifted the city's normal meeting schedule, moving City Council to 7 in the evening tonight at the Municipal Services Center. Council members are scheduled to discuss a number of topics, including proposed changes to how the city contributes to certain administrators' pension funds. The city manager has proposed shifting some of the city's contributions into salary, but a couple of council members have questioned whether such a move benefits the city's budget. And we'll be back after this with news on two officers who were honored by the UA Division of Police. Welcome back. The UA Division of Police has honored two of its valued employees. Detective Jeff Conrad was named the Division's Officer of the Year. Jennifer Hudnut was selected as UA's Civilian Employee of the Year. Both were celebrated at the UA Police Department's annual banquet earlier this month. They also received plaques. Conrad will be able to use a reserve space for Officer of the Year and he'll drive the UA Police Cruiser in the annual 4th of July parade. Thanks for visiting, have a great day, and stop back regularly to check out the UA Local page at columbuslocalnews.com for details on these and more stories.